Watch what happens to this image when I hover over it. I'm just going to leave my mouse there and it's going all the way to the bottom of a pretty tall image. And it gets to the bottom and it's just going to sit there. It's not going to start to move back. When I move my mouse away, it will hover up back to the top in a nice gradual way. Imagine you've got like a portfolio and you've got loads of images and it could be a website. You know, it could be maybe you're showcasing a product or something, but it's very, very tall. And you want to add a bit of interaction. And by the way, you can speed this up and slow it down. And it's really simple and easy to do without using any code. So this is all done within a child container. You can do it to an image, but then you would have to resort to adding in a little bit of coding. So what you do is add a child container, which you would do for every image where you're going to make this work. Go and add in your background image for the child container. Go and set your position to be top center. So if you want it to go from top to bottom, that kind of makes sense, right? In terms of attachment, you can either leave it as default or scroll. Don't pick fixed because then it won't do anything per se. Um, no repeat. And for my display size, I set it to be cover. If you go for contain, you're going to see the whole image. If you go for auto, it's not exactly accurate, but you want to make sure that you go for cover. And then if you want to adjust your sizing, that I should mention as well in terms of your layout your width, your height. I mean, look, I could make it taller if I want. I've just gone and well, let's put it at 300 for now. Okay, we'll leave it at 300. And that's all you do for the background image on the normal tab. Then you go to the hover tab. And a lot of people sometimes forget or don't realize, oh, I didn't, I I didn't realize because sometimes you got text and image and then you add on gradients and whatever. And you don't realize that you could have left your image as it was. It's not until you hover onto it that maybe your gradient or a background image changes or something like that. So what you have on the hover is the exact same image. And the position for this is bottom center. I'm just showing you, it doesn't matter whether you have default or scroll, it's gonna work regardless. So your normal is top center, your hover is bottom center, no repeat and we got cover. Here comes the important bit. In fact, there are two important bits. The second one I'm gonna to come to. The first one is the transition duration. So do you want it to take 10 seconds or maybe you want it to be super, super fast? I mean, if you do it super fast, that's pretty damn quick. Or you could make it be ridiculously slow. So if I pop in a 50, it's moving, but it's laborious, right? So I'm just going to go and set it to eight just so you can see it move a little bit quicker. Now, let me show you after doing all of that, what happens? Because there is one extra little thing you got to do when I hover. That is going super quick. Like it is like you move your mouse on and it shoots to the bottom. You move your mouse off and it shoots to the top. What you need to do is add in a spacer. So this is a child container. If you want to drop items into here, so if you've gone and added in, say, a heading like that, it will now work perfectly. But what if you don't want to add in a heading or a social sharing icon or a call to action button? What you need to do is go and drop in a spacer. Your spacer needs to be at least one pixel. If you want to leave it as the default 50, you can do. It's not going to make any difference, but you got to make sure you've got a spacer or a heading or an item that sits in here. And when you now move, that will now take eight seconds to get to the bottom. You move your mouse off and it goes back up. And because it's just using the transition duration from top to bottom, you're not getting that sudden um, speed up when you have ease in and ease out. There's always like a, it goes quick and then it, you know, goes quick again towards the end. If you work with ease in and ease out and all of that or linear, you'll understand what I mean. But that is how simple and easy it is to add some interaction to an image on your website. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And we did not use any code except the code that sits within the page builder. See you soon. Never brave, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time for the pain.